Rajagaha, now called Rajgir, is one of the oldest continually inhabited sites in India. During the Buddha's lifetime, it was the capital of the kingdom of Magadha and was the largest city in the Middle Land. It is located about 100 kilometers from Patna in Bihar, India. There are five mountains surrounding the old city, which were known as Vebhar, Vepul, Pandava, Gijaputa, and Isigil. After his renunciation, Prince Siddhartha came to Rajaka. King Bimbisara saw him begging for arms in the streets and was deeply impressed by his noble bearing. The king offered to give him a high position in his court. The young prince politely declined the offer but promised that if and when he attained enlightenment, he would return and teach the truths he had discovered to the king. And so he did after the enlightenment. As we enter the Rajgir city, we can see the traces of a fortified wall around the city. It is about 4 meters high and about 40 kilometers in length. The Vishwa Shanti Stoop or the Peace Pagoda is situated on top of Ratnagiri Hill. This stoop was built by the Japanese as a symbol of world peace. The way to reach this stoop includes an aerial ropeway. From there, after about a 20 to 30 minute walk, we can go to the Gviddakuta Hill or the Vulture Peak. As we start climbing the stairs to go to the Gviddakuta Hill, we see two caves. The first one is said to be used by Venerable Ananda Thera. The next cave is said to be used by Venerable Sariputta Thero. It is also called the Sukarakata cave.
As we go further past them, we can see the remains of an ancient monastery. At the top of the hill, there is a rock with the shape of a vulture with folded wings and hence the name Gijjakut. We can see the ruins of stupas and foundation of a small temple built on the summit in ancient times. It is called the Suganda Kuti. This was the Buddha's favorite retreat in Rajagaha and the scene for many of his discourses. King Bimbisar has constructed a long stone stairway to the top of the hill so the Buddha can easily climb the hill and a part of which can still be seen today. It is said this is the place where the Bhikkhu Devadatta rolled down a rock on the Buddha as the Buddha was walking up and down in the shade of the Gijjakuta. Jeevaka's Mango Grove Jeevaka was King Bimbisara's personal physician and later became a devoted supporter of the Buddha. He owned a beautiful mango grove. He built a dwelling there for the Buddha and offered it. The Jiva Kambavana was the site of one of the most important of the Buddha's discourses, the Samanyapala Sutta, the discourse on the fruits of the monk's life. The Vail One, currently known as Vail One, is situated at a distance of about 4 kilometers from Gijjakut. Then the Buddha returned to Rajaka in the second year after his enlightenment. King Bimbisara offered his pleasure park called Vail One, the bamboo grove, to the Buddha. This was the very first monastery offering to the Buddha. If you have time, there are several other places around Rajgir that you can visit. The Ajasattu Stupa, Tapodaram, Pippali Cave, the Saptaparni Cave, Sonbanda Cave, Bimbisara's Jail, the Chariot Wheel Tracks and Kalasila.